All right, so we're gonna go do some train stuff. Unfortunately, the boss is like, well, we need to keep the Texas bed here just in case it's doing some tea bed work. He's like, we're gonna put you in this other truck. Give it a little more room, stretch out, which didn't really bother me, actually. I don't really care for it. As long as there's enough room to sleep, that's good enough for me. So we got a trailer that's all flanged up for doing some rail stuff. Ramps for the rail stuff. I think we're going to get, uh, I don't even know what it is. Honestly, I know nothing about rail besides that the trains go on it. And I don't have to shave to do it. So I jumped into another truck. Now I got another handful of got to go through stuff. I just spent the last two hours hawking all my stuff from my truck into here. So it's just piled in. <laughs> oh. I'll straighten that out tonight. I got a mess. I got a mess. It's got the same amount of mileage. If honestly, I've only spent maybe this much time when I drove back truck when I first started driving, driving at Peterbilt. So, I got a lot of cleaning up to do once I get to where I be. Tabor, on Tabor. I'm passing sleeping cities, fading by degrees, not believing all I see to be so. I'm flying over backyards, country homes. All right, just like every good journey, I got a trailer that needs to be retorqued. All six axles, so I'm gonna do that and then uh, carry on my journey. I'm just by Didsbury right now. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the drive. It's pretty boring and it's getting dark anyway. It doesn't make very good footage, so. I'll see you in the morning. Branches watching life between the branches below. And it's hard to say who you are these days. But you run on anyway, don't you, baby? You keep running for another place. I'm moving on alone over ground that no one owns. Past statues that atone for my sins. There's a guard on every door and a drink on every floor. Day two, loaded this morning, just got some ties and some uh, brackets to hold the tracks, tracks down, nothing too extravagant, but it's work, so I ain't complaining. Find that saving grace. 
carpet of your father's two-room mansion. No headroom for expansion no more. And there's a corner of the floor they're telling you it's yours. You're confident but not really sure. Right, so we've arrived at our unload spot. Get rid of this sick load of ties and uh, head her back home. Whatever. 